Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Karasev. I'd like to uh, show you in this uh, sm small video how to export data from legacy versions of Great Plains Dynamics uh, on Pervasive SQL 2000 or Retrieve. This approach should work for version 7.5, 7.0, 6.0, 5.5, 5.0 and earlier as well as uh, for uh, Great Plains accounting for DOS version 9.5, 9.2 and earlier. Let's begin. For the demonstration we will be using uh, Great Plains Dynamics version 5.5. As you see in the middle of the screen it is in virtual Oracle virtual box. Uh, and um, in the back background you see current version of Dynamics GP in the case if you would like to up upgrade from uh, 5.5 to or the earlier version you want Great Plains DOS to a nice and cool uh, current version of Dynamics GP okay let's begin with um, data export in our case and in, in, in the case of this uh, demo will be using uh, Dynamics on uh, Pervasive SQL 2000. Also, it could be earlier version which was based on D3. First step is to generate DDF files or data definition files. Field DDF, index DDF, optional one, and uh, files DDF. You can do it um, in a client folder. In my case, it's new dynamics, it's client. And then just take capture with the mouse, gen DDF file, and then drop it on a dynamics application, dynamics executor. Index file is optional. Now let's pick a launch file which should be your set file, dynamic set file, and this is in, um, in my case in uh, new dynamics, this one. DF file location should go to the company folder. In my case it's going to be dynamics on C. And then I'll pick one of the companies, click OK, and uh, just to give you a couple of comments, if you check the path, you will see that um, DDF files will actually address the subfolders in the company folder, and then they will address system files, as you see here, as well as taxes by default. And then you click Generate. Second step is to identify tables that you need. For that, uh, just the launch Dynamics client interface by uh, taking a Dynamics set file and uh, putting it on Dynamics executable. Log into the company. Go to Tools, Resource Description Tables. Let's do uh, Financial Transactions to Export. I'll do uh, Sort by Physical Name, Product is Dynamics, uh, CV Financials. And then I'm going to pick Physical Name, I'm going to pick um, Open view transactions and then historic history of uh, GL transactions 20,000 and 30,000. So, what you need to do, you need to create pervasive SQL, you need to create 
the database. In my case, I already created the database, and um, it has uh, ODBC connection. The name is TCS in my case, and uh, I'm going to show you this ODBC connection in uh, control panels. I'm using Windows XP, so in the case, so it's a 32-bit operating system. It's compatible with Dynamics 5.5. There's my uh, DBC connection created. So you see, it has a um, progressive SQL DBC interface. And then it has a database name this. And if you click on options, and then you will see the um, folder. The folder is actually in um, Dynamics TCS. Can test it. Connection successful. When you are done with um, DDF files and um, creating a um, ODBC connection, you can go to uh, actually you do it in Progressive SQL um, Control Center. Uh, you will see the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, wizard will walk you through. Uh, and, and and then when it is done, you can expand TCS in my case uh, folder company folder and then click on tables. You will see tables. And then you can find the table you would like uh, to export. In my case, it's um, let's say GL. This is small one. And then uh, you just double click on that. It will be doing uh, the export for you. It's pretty large in size, so I'm going to stop it and just do it to the text file just to show you. So this is the data in the table that we have. Better option for export, uh, it's actually faster. Instead of doing um, the query in the um, query itself, you do action, tasks, and export data. Just uh, pick the file name. Let me do this for you. Let's say um, GL20000. Gonna be a SD file, but that's actually a uh, uh, common delimited file. As you see here, uh, double quote will be text qualifier. Uh, mark this, write columns in the first row, then uh, go ahead and click next, and then switch to use a scale statement. In my case, I uh, created a scale statement with the fields that you might need. In my opinion, but maybe um, you have something else in your mind. Just we can restrict number of columns, and then um, you click. In my case, what I did, let me just explain you. I joined two tables. First table is uh, GL history, this one, GL twenty thousand, and then I joined it with uh, GL zero zero one o five, which has uh, account number in, in the stream format. So I'll show you. Then you click next, and then you click export. It will take a while. You'll wait uh, maybe a minute or so, maybe less, and then uh, it will begin exporting data. First, looks like it's kind of caching it in the memory. Maybe virtual machine has uh, not enough memory for a faster transaction export, but um, it's okay. Uh, in my case, I have approximately 40,000 uh, rows, and uh, it's going to take um, 
about uh, less than a minute, I guess. Maybe around one minute in my situation. Historical file typically is larger in size if you have like a few or 10 years or maybe more in history. So it should be then uh, maybe like five, 10 times longer for the history. In my case, I'm exporting a GL open file. I skipped um, the um, export uh, progress and now it's ready so you have a um, text file which you can open in Excel. I don't plan to show you uh, Excel uh, processing of the text file but here's the final result and you have the table with um, uh, just some columns, others I stripped off, and then uh, you have the data sorted by first year, and then transaction entry from the uh, minor to the major number. <coughs> and uh, in, in, in the case of this uh, database, open file has two years, so meaning that uh, <coughs> the year 2007 was not 2006, excuse me, was not closed until probably uh, uh, somewhere somewhere like mid 2007. Oh, not not really. Actually, it was closed in January 2007. Sorry about that. Um, and then you see the data, which is probably ready for being. Uh, converted to or imported to the, your new accounting application or given to auditors if you face uh, audit. So um, we are done with uh, GL Open. Uh, while the same approach could be uh, used for um, GL history files, meaning for uh, general ledger uh, entries for the closed years. In this case, it would be 2005 and earlier, because as you see, 2006 already in this table. Uh, if you need help, feel free to uh, contact me by phone or email. You can find my information in the description uh, to this uh, video. Just scroll down your YouTube uh, page. Thank you. Bye.